do the ocean I go to around here. Alright, so here's the Enough gob flopping! The line fuckers. The current king. Yeah, well at least you get the red coin, that's something. Although our hand is not looking pretty. No. So hmm. <laughs> I mean, this hand is pretty, pretty bad. Uh, we probably want to mulligan the 29 and then see what we get. There's some carryover. Okay, we got Erland. So if if I knew that we were getting Erland, I would probably mulligan Askel or Rasmir, but I, I, we still do it, right? I just would have preferred to mulligan both of them if I knew we were getting uh, Erland, because you want to have maximum carryover on your riches, because usually you want them in the deck and not in the, in the hand, but... Right. It just so happened that we got uh, Kill Very Night, right? Right. So, what do you think? Start off with the Adept, or start off with the Witcher? Whoa, Cleaver right off the bat. Okay. Um, okay, so this is basically Kill Very Night gameplay, right? Why is he playing Cleaver? <laughs> and why is he playing in first card? Like, with, with Lion Pockets, you want to start with your safe crackers. Get, like, a six-point engine down, or more than six, depending on how many cards you have. Do we go Royal Guard first? That's really weird. Um, they have a ton they have of some damage cards. They have a ton of damage cards, right? right. So we might want to play Royal Guard to bait one of them. Right. That's what I was thinking. Had, yeah, yeah. We play Royal Guard to bait like a uh, bloody good fun or uh, payday card like that 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 can kill our engines. We're pretty happy if we see a payday here or a bloody good fun. That clear was really suspicious, but um, I think we're just playing our carryover and passing in this round because he just invested so much more than us. We'll see. We'll see. Assault. Okay, so I think the lists that play assault are the ones that have uh, heat wave in the deck. Mm -hmm. So we should probably try and do, and do our best to not give him a good heat wave in our trade. All two, depending. So do we play uh, I mean, at this point? We, at, at this point, yeah, we can just play Erlen. See what he does. Beyond. Maybe he kills it again, and then we can get our engine down. Although I think we're just passing. Maybe not passing. Maybe we can stay a bit because if he doesn't kill our Erlen, we have so much uh, reach. Because Erlen is like plus twelve on the on on the order, so we can play our bad cards, and he can't pass because we we can just use Erlen. So it's it's pretty good card. Right. Um, the fiddle is the one that gets you. Because if they can steal your Keldar, it's bad money. Yeah, that sucks too. We will we'll have to be careful about that. So I mean. He's just playing his kinds. I think we can. We have to play one more card. I think we play the Griffin Witcher. The wonders of projectiles and ranged weapons. Does he do the tempo pass? If, if he does tempo pass, we have a decision to make. But he's not doing a tempo pass. So I think we just pass him now. Where's our Jurgen? Like, <laughs> we can't really contest. Yeah, that sucks, right? Because Jurgen's really good in this matchup because we can reset Cleaver, but he played Cleaver on one, so. <laughs> uh, I think. Good. I mean, Jurgen is gonna find value, right? He still oh, has for two sure. safe crackers, and he has a pick, so that's three cards that are gonna boost a lot, and he might play Sol, like some list play Sol for some reason. So there's like four cards that we can easily reset. Jack's is a spender the boost. Jackal is a spender the boost. Like Yoden is gonna find a lot of value. I'm not worried about that at all. So I think we mold the knight, yeah. And then I think we also mold the Vestimir. I don't think we want to play in the sun, so this hand is a bit better than the last one. I guess we if always he... have reach with Yurden with Quen. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Like we always have age now with Quen and the Odin, and we have a pretty decent hand. We have two target practices. We have Griffin Witcher. We have Adept. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Pretty good. If he tries to bleed us, I think we're gonna have a pretty good shot at defending the lead. Maybe even keeping the card advantage. Okay. So, so sevens. Yep. Seven. Seems about right. This is this is so busted. Like you're playing a seven point engine, and then he's just 
it's just incredible. Yeah, it shouldn't things. have the intimidate tag on it, I don't think, you know. It's Yeah, even as one as it is like, right now, it's mm -hmm. it's good, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I think I seen yeah, one that was like 22. I'm like, what is going on here? Like <laughs> Yeah, I think it should either have intimidate with like four base power or it should have boost by the number of kinds but then without the intimidate, right? So we just it go adapt one of them. Uh, I think we go get some uh, maybe. Yeah, I think I like that better. Can't see yeah, he's just, just gonna kill us. us. Uh, yeah, he, he probably will, but that, that's why I want to play first, right? So he just he can just do that because he might want he might have justice in hand, and he probably wants to play justice. Double first. assault. Damn it. This that, is that's sight. interesting. We'll call the not the metal list then. So we just go regular uh, one, right? Yeah, we could. We could. Yeah, just play the the full coin. Hey, I can see Kaeseron from here. Can you show me the deck real quick so I can see what a uh, amphibious assault is putting? Um, so we have two sidemen, knight, and the royal guard. So we don't really have to play it right now. Stack and force straight. too. Nice, because he wants that pocket. That's good for us. That that could potentially be good for us. So we just go target practice. Yeah, I don't think we have any to play. We don't really want to lock these because we're resetting them anyways. Yeah, the lock and... will be good on the, the drill or the oh, safe yeah. crack oh, yeah. or the. What's the. Sea Jackal. And if he does drill now, he's. Got to bust through here first, which he's going to waste, waste a bunch of damage. Yeah, I don't think he's going to drill now. It would make no sense. I don't know what his game plan is, to be honest. Oh, this urine is going to be juicy. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So juicy. Really awesome. Did we just play the other adept? Or oh no, we play the other practice, huh? We can play the other practice, yeah. I think we might want to play the other adept when we play Kello. I think we're going to be forced to play Kello this time. So we can just hold on. Up and we're up now. We are up now. Now they don't. Run, well, that the assaults their salamander tag, right? Mm-hmm. I think we're keeping our card. Potentially we could. We'll see though. We might not be able to, depending on what he does, obviously. Well, we're he's not really giving him much to work with then. He's played two of his four specials. Mm -hmm. He has the six coins. Right, yeah. Pretty sure he has drill. He played a Nero. Uh, one of these is a Nero too, because he played Cleaver with it. Pretty sure. Yeah, this Yurden's going to be six. Jacques, too. Wow. He's really going hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shame that he didn't play the same. Oh, that would be funny. Do we go Assault now? Or do we just play the, play the Adept and be happy? Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm not sure what we want to play this turn, to be honest. We have 11 points down, so we, we can't... I mean, we can try to get ahead again. We could lock it, so he doesn't no, have no, a spender. I, 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 I don't think we want to lock, because, again, we have Yodan to negate the spender, and our lock could be very good if he steals our Kellogg, because if he steals our Kellogg and we can't lock it, it's really sad. So I we're think going... we go Assault, Assault into Knight, because that puts him ahead, and I kind of want to pressure him to play something. And you can play the Thunder as well. Who knows, dude? He might have Yurden. <laughs> the way they are. Oh, yeah, okay. The way the That's Yurden friends point. are going. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. He might have. So this puts us ahead by 5, right? So we can play something slow next turn if he plays something big. He's going to play Drill and full spin. Oh, he goes Philippa. He goes Philippa now? Okay, this is easiest kill out of our lives, I think. You do not deserve yeah, this is easiest kill out of our lives now that Philippa is up. Uh, we just want, want to think about uh, how many paydays did he play? Actually, it doesn't matter, right? He had bloody good fun. He had assaults. So he played one payday, and he probably has a bloody good fun. So I don't think we boost it at all. We're just wasting a charge. If you can kill it. The more you know, the less you plunder like a buffoon. 
Actually, maybe we should have used this. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe that was not bad, not losing it. Because if he has a second payday, then we just gave him that for free. But then again, yeah, he oh, had yeah. one. So it was good. So it was good not losing it. Because BJF just killed it. Whatever, because he can spend the legal charges. So. That's all his. crimes. All his specials, yeah. All his crimes. So playing the adept here doesn't push us ahead. But. We don't really mind if it doesn't. We can also play Yerden if you want to get ahead. I'm not sure if that's good though. He still has a pick, he still has Gord. He plays Gord last though, right? Mm -hmm. Do we just lock Jacques? Because we have the answer for the drill. Okay, yeah, he puts his head as well. Yeah, sure, I can do that. I, I don't really like it, but. It puts his head, which is why it may be fine. I'm not sure if that was the correct play there, but it is fine. Swing blue. That's so low tempo. No okay, this is a perfect opportunity for us to play at it. Because it puts his head again, and we need to develop it if we want to get any value from it. What's going on about this mark, fella? So what's his last card? I have no clue, to be honest. <laughs> We keep our card, but... Oh, so he does oh, lose drill. drill. We still keep our card, though, I think. We should be keeping it. Depend depends how much he spends. So he's gonna spend all? Hmm. That's... I think we... Because this is... Nine. And this is... Eight. Seven. Eight? It's eight, right? Yeah. yeah it's eight. nine and eight. Mm. So seven. So, yeah, so we have nine and eight, so that's 17, and then another five. So that's 20, and then another two. So that's 17 and seven, so that's 24 points. So we're good. Which puts us at. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely good. So we're playing, we're playing here then, so fun to the front row. Thank you for stacking, sir. Let's get this over with. Yeah, if you didn't stack the, the safe trackers, we wouldn't have enough, right? No. So all he, has, all he has left is a Jackal and Gord. Jackal, Gord, and yeah. And we Maybe have Witchers. Like solid Witchers. That's pretty good. So um, we dumped this oil, huh? Uh, what do we have in deck? We have two of the Witchers. Vestimir, a Royal mutation. Guard. Yeah, we can, we can definitely move the oil. Oil is the worst card we can possibly have. Uh, we need to move that. Okay. Oof. Close. Uh, do we have any engines left for the uh, uh, Assault? The pull? No. Just a Royal so, Guard, but it comes out boosted the, anyways. Uh, yeah. And we might want to pull the Sightman. With the assault. So we just go yeah. Witcher, so. Actually, maybe not. I think we're pulling the Royal Guard, honestly. I think we can pull the Royal Guard played back, which. Is that bad for Heat Wave, though? Would we rather. Or the He's gonna Heat Wave one of these, anyways. He's gonna Heat Wave something big, yeah. I think he's fine. I think he's fine if we play the Royal Guard. Play the Royal Guard in the back, and then we play every single card in the back. And then we'll have a lot of boosting units. Yeah, that should be totally fine, I think. Yeah, he'll heat wave it. We play the Witchers. Mm -hmm. he play he yeah, all he has left. Yeah, so he has heat wave. Yeah, he does. I mean, that's fine. He, he was getting a big one, anyways, I think. So Maybe now, not, but yeah, no. we should play the Witchers now. Yeah, we should have. Yeah, but... yeah he spent way too much. The Cleaver, the, the one, Cleaver really one, one, yeah, was pretty horrible as well. Pretty weird, yeah, I agree. And playing safe crackers in the same row was definitely trolling as well. He just gave us an out. I think because we could we play won't... everything on the same row and still have Yurden and, and him have Yurden and wouldn't. So he... So now this is the first time he has full profit. Does he have both? We'll oh, see. No. Oh, he, oh, he comes. He oh, yeah, plays he comes both. Siggy he comes... and Heatwave. 
he, uh, he cut he cut both for heat wave, right? So he cut both and then he downgraded something for assault. Uh, you want to play that in the same way, I think. Parrying arrows. Yeah, he downgraded. He, he, he upgraded both to heat wave, so nine positions to ten, and then Full he plays jackal. something else. But that's just bad. Like you don't want to catch those. Those cutting those is too bad. I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> He gave yeah. us. He gave us. Yeah. Not not a good game there, so. I okay. think every I, I think almost every syndicate deck in existence should play both, because both is just good. Yeah, it's a nice thinning card. It's yeah. it's uh, the roach of the sea. Exactly. <laughs> and you can and you can get him multiple times, right? You yeah. don't have, you, you you can get him like two or three or four times, depending on how the round goes. Mm-hmm. I don't know, it just didn't seem to Well, Cleo is a pretty good spender. Joe yeah, good if spender. you don't spend them turn is... one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The problem is that if you spend them when you don't want to spend them, then it's bad. Yeah. What is with drawing this? I guess it's good that I draw it, but, like, come on, man. Yeah, we definitely want to mulligan that. Hey, carryover friends. Ireland is pretty good. This is pretty good. We have red coin, right, as well. This is right. pretty good. Just uh, keep, huh? We can think of keeping, or we can think of mulliganing further. We can try to maybe mull. Siphons can still be really good. Siphon is pretty good because um, we have Vesemir, right? So I think we can try and mulligan the Royal Guard, see if we can get a better card. Okay, that's that's, that's much a pretty better. good card, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, 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 we had Natalis for it, but then now we can play Natalis for target practice, so it's not really bad that we draw Let's it. see what we got here. Two and it's only two. That's that's so he only has two. That's good. And this hand is really good as well because we have Erland in hand, so we don't have to spend Quen for it, and we don't have Yuren in hand, right? So we have Quen for Yuren in case we need to panic button it, right. which is pretty good. So we just go um, Witcher. Let him kill it. A couple. Of, we could we... go Witcher to sacrifice him, or we could play Amphibious Assault into Griffin Witcher. There, there are like two two options here. I'm not sure which one is better, to be honest. I think we should just play the four point Griffin Witcher and just nice step, just say that he dies to payday and then be over with it. I guess maybe yeah. we could have played the Adept. Hmm. Maybe this is a misplay. Maybe we should have played the Adept because we have uh, select mutation in hand, so we could have uh, played the Adept and then developed him. I don't know. Maybe this was a misplay. He wants to get the other one online though, so we do get the value. Mm -hmm. We just killed the, the cleaver, huh? I guess we could have uh, oiled this. We could have, but I don't think it's worth it. We kind of want to keep the elf with the elf. He, he He's kind of winning this one. Because he has the justice. So now we just go adept. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could just go adept here. And you can still ping the, the six point safe tracker. Actually, no, pink the fight so we can turn the oil if we need it. Uh, I mean, the oil if we need it. Yeah. The oil might have been a little bit slow. Yeah, like in, in this Witcher list, I much prefer developing my own engines first before killing theirs because we only have two control options, which is Margarita and oil. Do we so, save the oil for the drill? We, we are probably doing that, yeah, but we'll see. Okay, so he doesn't do it. So he's flipping. Do we play the Erlin now? Or do we just kill this? Uh, well, there are a couple of options we can do. We can play Erlin. Or we can play Select a Mutation. Or we can kill it. I, I don't like killing it, though. Like We have Margarita in hand, but I just much more prefer killing the drill instead of locking it. So and just go either. mutation. It's either Earl and mutation. I'm not sure. I'm, I think it's mutation actually. And what are we drawing? Uh, we're drawing Kello, right? Kello, and, and then we can kick Scythe. Scythe, probably. Yeah, Scythe is probably not gonna get a lot of value. And then we can spawn. The 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 I'm on it. Is there a world where he plays the drill this round? Never, right? You want to save that for round three on the boosted. Oh, yeah, for sure. If he plays it, we're very, very happy. Mm -hmm. Which is 
a bit of a sad move. And now we definitely want to play Odin. Because he might be passing, he might not, but we want to play we, Odin to get Odin. we don't flip it, right? We leave it go. No no no, we don't flip it because we want to threaten the rage. So now he if he doesn't want us using it, he has to kill him. Or he has to play it because in order for him to stay ahead of us, because we can always get thirteen points on the order. Right. Our sequencing might have been off, I think, this game, but uh, I don't know. We're on that coin, so it's kind of fine if you make some mistakes. We're just not really sure if there was like a better play we could have done. We'll see. Sea Jack will spend once, huh? I only lose no spend! Pieces, except sometimes, huh. they're quite fresh. Yes. Do we kill that? No, we don't want to kill it. Hmm. This That's is... interesting. I'm exactly one, two, three. Yeah, Vesemir. I mean, we need to wait one more turn on Vesemir. So we go assault into the night just to get it out, or assault into? How many points is that? That's twenty-five. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. And then if he passes, we have Vesemir. Maybe this is his heat wave? He hasn't spent a Nero. He spent both of his crimes. Wait, this yeah, is a crime too, anymore. isn't it? Oh, he, he used Furco to he pull played, it. Yeah, he plays in Furco. So... Everything left in his hand is a unit. Yep. And he's probably thinking of maybe passing this round. Let me just turn. Which, if he does, that's really, really good for us. Yeah, no, they'll push. The drill comes down. So now we pass. Hmm. Do we pass though? That's that's the question. So if you kill the bill, that's seven points of tempo. So if you're down fifteen. And how many boosted units do we have in the in the in the deck? There's three so specials, so twelve. Three specials, so twelve. So that's twelve and seven, that's nineteen points. Hmm. So but we either have to Natalis drill or lock it. I think we saved the lock. I'm just thinking if you can play the Vesemir here and still get out. Just drop it? Yeah, I'm thinking if you can get out though. Maybe we actually can't. That's a big problem. Yeah, I think we're just passing actually. It's really, it sounds really bad because I want to play Vesemir. But uh, that drill just goes to us. I think we're just too many points down. Like, if you play the Vesemir, then he passes, and then we have to use Erland, and then we have no carry whatsoever. Although, this also sucks, because we might get into a long run with the Syndicate, but that's fine, we have Jordan, right? So, you know, like, a couple options we could have done there. Um, if you drop the I think drill. We, I think we're mulling the oil, yeah. I think we need that target practice. I think we mulled the target practice as well. Okay. So you can get it. If he dry passes, what is our play? So he can dry pass. Uh, what do we have in that? We just pull a royal guard with. Oh no, this is our. Fr we used it once. So this we is, wanna... Yeah, we used it on this is Doom, so we can't really do that. We have two target practices and a Kellar, so it would be really bad if we use the Adept here. We could think about 
dropping Natalis, but that's also feel bad. I think he's gonna be decent amount wise. I think we just played the good version. It's just the wonders of probably the worst card we have because he still has a payday, he still has the blood with sun, so he can kill the engine. Yeah, the dips die too, the, the little he's only used one dip. Hmm. Okay, so we might want to kick this ogre. I don't think he's doing much for us. He's just dying to whatever. Kick what? Uh, the oil guy. Oh. Sideman is decent, and I think we keep because we don't want to break the witches. If you break the witches, it's game over. So definitely keep this. So we just start so, with the adept. The, uh, can you show me the deck again? Maybe we have a better play with. I think this week. Uh, Assault's so gonna be Leo. one of these or a Scytheman. So we have Leo. So we're missing Leo basically, which is kind of okay. Yeah, I think we just drop the Adam. And you play fun because we have Kelda. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we get a couple of them. That's nice. We don't have to worry about the drill, so our boosts are good. Do they play Yurden in this? Uh, some of the lists do. I'm not really sure though. Uh, if you don't see Siggy, we might be forced to play on the Yudin because some people just switch Siggy for Yudin. And if you see Heatwave or something, then we definitely don't have to play on Yudin because he doesn't play both. Or he shouldn't have played both. He's gonna, he's gonna be tricky. Uh, he, he, the only engine he has left is Pig and Cleaver. So there's the Pig. So the uh, he has Philippa for the he doesn't. Okay. Well, this I guess is, we can't kill it anyway. So this is our lock. This is definitely our lock. I think. Hmm. Or do we not lock it? Wait, do we have a better lock than this? So he has Cleaver the boost, and he has Pick the boost. So we can negate both of them with the other right? He and has he to play him on jackal. the same row though. He played one jackal. He has Jacques too for a spender. He has Jacques, yeah. So yeah, yeah. So we don't want to lock the pig, I think. I think we want to lock the cleaver because cleaver is the only engine that uh, the only spender that doesn't boost, right? Yeah. So we definitely we want to lock that one because so we all the other. We just yeah, go. we can just we can just we can go target practice. No, no, no. Good Natalis. Oh, okay. We're okay. We're so yeah, we, we definitely want to lock the spender that doesn't boost because we have Yoda, right? So we can we can reset the spenders that boost. There it is. Yeah, okay, so we're locking that. Although he's stacking for us. He is, but if he spends all the coins with Cleaver, that's really, really good for him because Cleaver is such an efficient spender because he's spawning the muscle, which is five points, so four points, so he's getting one more point per coin. And he doesn't boost, right? So we, so I, so we, we lock definitely now. lock Cleaver. Yeah, we definitely lock Cleaver. What can I do for you? Okay. And yeah, yeah. I think that this is our best lock because locking Shax feels much worse than locking Cleaver. Is there a world where we just hold the Keldar a little bit longer? Mm, there is if he didn't play Philippa, yeah. There, there probably is. We need to be really careful with the Keldar, so we definitely don't want to hit Well, currently he only has six coins, so if we boost it, well, we'd have to boost it three times, so. We have to boost it three times, which is really bad for our leader, and he's still a dragon in four, so we can't really even play it now. Right. Can you show me the deck again, please? Just so I can see what we're pulling with the salt. Uh, Royal Guard or Scytheman. Scytheman. Yeah, okay, so we're not doing any of that next turn, I think. Depending on what he plays, because I think next turn we want to play Natalis into Target what? Practice. Uh, is he killing on my Not really. Okay. Uh, I think we just play Natalis and boost Natalis with the Target Practice. And just one this turn. 
because nothing else is really playable. We could have maybe played Phoebus Assault into a well guard, but I just don't see it. I think we're doing alright. We got this engine going. Mm, yeah, but it's gonna stop soon, right? But it, it, that's still fine because we have Kelda. It's just a question of will we be able to survive the Philippa? <laughs> right. I think next turn we might want to play assault into Royal Guard because I think we want to maximize the boost. Yeah, if, I guess if yeah if we are able to because, boost it, mm -hmm. boost it out of range, mm -hmm. then we're good, right? Yep. Yep. In back row, and it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, it doesn't, especially because our front row is already. I mean, currently advanced. we got five and uh, five and five, or five and four. We got nine points on the Yurden, which feels pretty good. Oh yeah, for sure. And if so, he doesn't have any more spenders except sharks, then good we good So he spend. He, he yeah, he burned his spenders. I think. I think he drew really poorly. That could be the case. So we just go assault now and I think we go assault now into Royal Guard. We play Royal Guard in the back to get to get it outside of Philippa range. No Although he doesn't have the coins for it, so yeah, it doesn't matter. But and he hasn't. Okay, okay, wait. So next turn we are able to play Kelda. We can boost it by two. He goes to yeah, and we might be able to survive the Philippa, depending I on think what he, he heat waves this. If he plays heat wave, if he plays heat wave, it's, it's fine. I mean, we have to play assault on something big, anyways, so it's fine. Oh, okay. there's the boat. So are we so, able to boost it out of range? We are not. It goes to nine, which is a big problem, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so we just this sucks. We play uh, best. Yeah, we play the mentor, and we. Don't use or do we play Vesemir first and then play that for the more bodies? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's oh, oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I, I want to play the Mentor here because it boosts the Kelda, right? So we can play Kelda next turn and give it, and put it to ten and put put the Mentor in the front, please. Actually, yeah, yeah. So this is good, way. right? This is actually good because yeah, the, 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 this is good because Kelda is now five. We can boost it by two with the oil guys, so he goes to seven, and then we have three leader charges, he goes to ten, and Philippa can't seize it, which is really, really good. So th this is actually a good play, I think, by us. He's got to start thinking about playing, like, Maxi. Oh, okay. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now it's a ten, right? Yeah, it's a ten, and then he should be safe from Philippa, which is really, really good. Uh, you want to, yeah, you want to use all the leader charges on him, and this is so that as well. Specific, and Sightman, Sightman, you can play it in the front, so it gets the maximum boost for you. Play around Tavern Brawl, I guess. Uh, good point, yeah. I guess so this, we that. just played into it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> I don't think it's a card, although he... Okay. I mean, we had to do this, right? We had yeah. to do this because... So Philippa now we just go Vesemir, right? Mm, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, yeah, you have to play Vesemir in the back because we won't have enough space in the front. And we definitely don't want to... I mean, we're in a good spot. Like, that heatwave hurts. It, it hurts, right? But we had to do it because Philippa hurts even more. So, and we're still in another spot, I think. Yoden is going to play for a lot. And our sideman is pretty good. Our sideman is 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 9 points. There's the Philippa. So he yep, steals so just a 4. Maybe he goes for 4. I'll never be imprisoned again. Yeah, so. Oh, sweet, though. It's more Yoden value. Yeah, that's perfect for us, actually. So we go back row, huh? Uh, Front. Yes. It, uh, it, we go back. We go back because we have more boosted units in the, in the play around tavern a little bit. We could have maybe waited with the sidemen, but I'm I'm thinking maybe he gives us a better unit and then it's worth it. 
Yeah, I think so too. Uh, well, one of these is. Sh yeah, there's the dip. So, yeah, we should have this easy. So, we just go Yoden in the front and then Lisa at his front. <laughs> good game. Yeah, so our, our 10 point Kellogg was actually really good, right? Because we didn't play into Filippo, which he did have. We played into Heatway, but. Filippo just hurts a lot more than Heatwave. Yeah, he giving up an engine over something that's going to... Heatwave would have played for more anyways if he would have... Or, mm -hmm. you know, 13-14 on a Leo or whatever. Yep. So, all right. 